Sapphire, you tried so hard to bully a bully that you became a bully, sis. You had no reason, in my opinion, to fight Smiley the second time, okay? You said it out your mouth. You wanted a permanent spot on the show. And I think that's why you did it. Let's talk about it, baby. Because this is a big deal. Let's go. Welcome back, y'all. What's up, baby? My name is Big Mouth, and this is my channel. Okay? If you have not, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And do me a favor and turn on my post notifications so you can be alerted when I upload a new video, girl. Yes, boo. So, let's get into the episode. Um, this week, no shade, y'all. I don't really have the energy to be doing all of that hooping and hollering and yelling and, 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 and just theatricals. I just don't have it um, this week for whatever reason. I don't know why. So, we just gonna do this, you know, just real regular style. So, the episode opens up with the last one left off with Mariah getting her ass mud stumped. I'm sorry, not Mariah. Smiley getting her ass mud stumped and running into the kitchen, you know, trying to get some salvation from the situation. And it didn't work. So, um, Mariah goes in the kitchen behind her and with Suki and Sapphire on her back, you know. And I, one thing about it, Mariah, I think that you honestly, I think the reason you went in there and fought, uh, Smiley, and one reason I'm going to say this is because of how you kept trying to cop out talking about your hand was hurting when you grabbed the chain and all that crazy stuff. You fought Smiley for your chain because you didn't want to fight Suki and Sapphire. That's really what it was because they was on your back. The way Suki was yelling at you talking about Mariah, get your chain. Mariah, you better get your chain. The way Sapphire checked you after the uh, after the fact when you were sitting down, you know, um, it just seemed like, you know, you were more scared of them than you were of Smiley and that's why you went and got the chain back. So, anyway, um, after she fought Smiley, uh, Smiley, you should have gave that chain up, girl. Lord Jesus, should have gave that damn chain up. Smiley walking through the living room, girl, and everybody just jumping on her, sis. They just dog piling on her. You know, Mariah's still behind her. Sapphire got her in a headlock. Uh, Suki trying to grab the chain off her neck. It was just a lot going on. Um, yeah. So, after they then got this chain off this girl neck, as they wrestling her, you know, Sapphire then slammed her on the ground. Mariah then got the chain up off her neck. And Smiley then went to the little, to a little closet over there, and she crying, and Camilla trying to comfort her. Um, Smiley, I'm going to just be for real with you, sis. You, was, you kept crying about your... You kept crying about your MC. But the whole time, you was fighting to keep that chain. You would not give that chain up. If you were somebody who cared more about your body than you did a material thing, you would have gave that chain up. Because rightfully so, it wasn't your chain. You know what I'm saying? It was your chain because you paid for it. But since you stole one from somebody else, sis, you owe that girl, you know, her chain back or one of equal value. So at the end of the day, sis, you should have did one of two things. You should have just gave her yours or went and got her pendant and then said you would buy her another chain or something like that. Sis, you really should have remedied that situation because you sitting here trying to cry and get sympathy, but you not, you sitting here fighting for your chain, fighting for the chain. You're not letting the chain go. You're fighting with them for the chain, but you sit here in the same breath trying to get sympathy. Girl, either be the victim or not. You know what I'm saying? Moving on. So after that, they sit in the living room. And like I said, Sapphire is going in. Mariah just cussing her out. Just, you better not never let her take your chain. It's next time. You better fight on the day. You know, just going in on her like big sister, little sister kind of stuff. And one thing I noticed about this scene was roly-poly. Um, Roly, you said at the end of the episode that... um. Smiley wrote on Instagram that, or Twitter or wherever she wrote it, that you and E.T. jumped her. However, I never saw E.T. jump in, but you did say when um, they was all sitting there in, in Sapphire and Suki and Biggie, all of y'all was in the living room and you walked in the living room, you said out your mouth, I snatched the shirt off that be back. So you did jump in. So you did put your hands on her while she was... I didn't know how the shirt got off Smiley back, but you definitely jumped in. So, Roly, I don't know why you lying saying you didn't jump her when you just said you snatched the shirt off her back while she was fighting Mariah. So, yeah, you jumped her. Um, Moving on. One thing I did like about this scene, there was very few things that I liked about this scene because I didn't like the whole jumping situation. But one thing I did like about this scene was when Camilla took Smiley in the little room, in a little study, and they was having a conversation. And Smiley was trying to garner some more sympathy, you know what I'm saying? Because Camilla really seemed to be the only one that was checking on her. So after the second time that Smiley got, you know, jumped on, got jumped and stuff, and she went into that little office and Camilla came in there and she was trying to cry and get that sympathy. Camilla really told her, like, girl, 
you you stole somebody's chain. Like this, why this is happening? You need to take some responsibility. And I really mess with you, Camilla. Um, number one because finally you've activated. You know what I'm saying? You finally given us commentary. You finally given us conversation. Honest conversation that's worth something. And honestly, the way you read her in that in that study, girl, I really live for that. Okay, that's the Camilla I want to see. Honestly, to tell you the truth, Camilla, the commentary you had this whole episode was really given. Okay, it really was. I was really liking the whole, you know, um um sassiness you know really it was really giving bgc camilla you know with the stuff you were saying it was real you was giving real advice you was talking that real shit and at the same time you was being funny and snarky and i like that and that's what i wanted from you um i'm not i don't want y'all to think that i want the older crowd to be just out here beating beating on bitches and all of that getting into all of the shenanigans but y'all can give commentary y'all can you know what i'm saying give y'all little two cents and stuff like that and make it funny and make it sassy and all of that and if a bitch got a problem with what you say then be direct you know what I'm saying? So that's really getting where you fit in. I like how you did that, Camilla. Um, moving on. So after that, they go out to the club. No shade. Y'all really got lackluster this episode. This episode and last episode. Was last episode? Wait. I don't know. But I, I think it was this this episode. Y'all really got lackluster with the with with the whole montage. What you call it? Get ready with me montage. Yeah, I didn't like the music. I, I didn't like the, the it felt real rushed. You know, I think y'all should next season try to put more effort into those because I like the one y'all did a few episodes ago. But I, I think Zeus, one thing about y'all, y'all don't y'all don't practice consistency. Y'all give us one good episode with, you know, some really good editing. And then the next time, next episode, it'll be just right back to the, to the basics and it just looked like a flop. So, yeah, with this episode, I wasn't really feeling to get ready with me, Montage. After that, the girls get into the sprinter vans, into their separate sprinter vans because y'all know they had two houses or whatever. They still in Philly. So the girls get into the separate sprinter vans and, uh, well, I think it was three sprinter vans because Suki got her own van. She don't ride with the girls. Okay, so Suki got her van. Then House A got their van. Then House B got their van. So on Suki's van, it got real ghetto. You know what I'm saying? And this is the reason why I keep saying, Sapphire, you need to shut the fuck up. Like, Sapphire, you really be talking too much. I don't know if y'all caught this, but Suki said that she wanted to smoke. And then Sapphire, dumbass, talking about weed, right? Sapphire, if we didn't think that Suki did drugs before, we do now. You know what I'm saying? Do Suki do drugs? I don't know. I'm not here to say yes or no. I'm not trying to allege. And this is all alleged. I'm just saying. Which when you when somebody says I want to smoke and you as their best friend point at them and say we right. First off, we trust you to provide us with information on her because she's your best friend. So if you say we right. Every grown person in their mind is going to be like, oh, shit. Like, what else do she smoke? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think Stuki does any anything else. I just think Sapphire is dumb. And I think she just run her mouth too much. And I think that Sapphire just don't know how to word her sentences right. But, Sapphire, you need to shut up. You need to shut up. Like, you talk too much. You really do. And I know you be trying to get your little commentary in. But stop trying to shine so much that you just saying. You, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. I don't know. It just be looking like you be trying on purpose to embarrass her a little bit to me. Like, I don't know if that's your personality, but it looks like you go out of your way to try to embarrass Suki. Like, you be trying to, you be mad that you're not getting more attention. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, to tell you the truth, Sapphire is the pretty friend. You know what I'm saying? Suki cute, but Sapphire is gorgeous. You know, and I, it probably hurt you that you don't get more attention. So, I don't know if you're trying to, you know, sock it to her by doing these little, mm, 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 you know, when y'all be having y'all personal conversations or you just that dumb. But either way, shut the fuck up, sis. Okay, Suki, you too. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. So, uh, after that, girl, we move on. So, over in Natalie's little sprinter van or whatever, they over there talking about what just happened and everything. And one thing about it, Natalie, girl, if you if you using E.T. and Rolly as your bodyguards, just say that. Like, girl, I'm so tired of Natalie with this whole, well, it's rich bitches over here and then the, the, the basic over there no sis there's nothing rich expensive you know classy or anything like that about you number one natalie girl we just saw you on a spirit flight and there's nothing rich or classy about et roly none of them the only rich classy bitches y'all got around y'all not even rich we can take the rich off it because ain't nobody in that got us rich you know what i'm saying probably you the only one and uh, but classy you're not you know and the thing about it is the only other person in there that probably is what you're saying is mariah lynn 
and she ain't even rich. So, girl, it's just not giving that. You know, you can stop that. Stop the charade, bitch, okay? Stop the whole... I, uh, uh, we over here because we better than y'all because y'all not. You're over there because you're scared of Camilla and Tzatziki and Sky. I don't think she's scared of Sky, but I think she don't want to get into it with Sky. I think Natalie is keeping all of her ops, all of the women who are her age that can beat her the fuck up away from her. And that's it, it is becoming more evident to me because throughout the episode, the girls just keep saying, yeah, I don't like that we in two separate houses. I don't like it. Nobody in Natalie's house like it and nobody in the other house like it. Nobody likes it. The only person that likes it is Natalie because it keeps her safe from getting her fucked nose broken but anyway moving on so i'm not even about to talk about that club scene it was just really unnecessary it was a, it was i think it was like eight minutes long it was just a unnecessary eight minutes i feel like they was just killing time um they got there the club closed 10 minutes after they got there they got kicked out that was it moving on so the next day they get on the, uh the pj well half the girls get on the pj half the girls get on the bus y'all know nally squad gets on the pj and the other girls get on the bus or whatever the case is now this is another thing that's really putting a hole in poking a hole in natalie's little um og story we the og bad bitches that's why we on a private jet and why we got the bigger houses because suki is new sapphire is not even on the damn cast she's a friend of the cast okay she's a step under dj sky shit um yeah so it was just like why why is they on the flight like it's just really giving like suki don't want i mean not suki but the people natalie don't want smoke with she just bring on her team you know what i'm saying now she got two more bodyguards for the cartel. You know, now she got uh, E.T., Roly, Suki, and Sapphire on the cartel, you know, to protect her against the big bad bitches of the other house, I guess. I don't know. So, why they on the jet? You know, uh, not too much is happening with Natalie and them. But what I noticed was, Suki, sis, can you learn to lead the ghetto shit in the hood? Like, everything ain't supposed to be ghetto. And that let me know right there, like, who you really is. Like, you... Oh, we ain't never been on our PJ before, so this is new for... You don't... Nobody needs to know that. Nobody needs to know that. It's That ghetto shit is so... It's played out after 25. You too old for that. I'm so tired of you old ass... You pushing 30, pushing 40... Just get it together. Girl, all of this eating ass and ratchet, great, like just stop, stop. It, it was cute when you was in your early twenties. You you too old for that now. It looked like somebody ratchet ghetto ass auntie. You know that old ass auntie in the hood that still be trying to fuck all the young boys on the block and still thinks she got it at fifty. Still getting her nails done. Still wearing the beehive. You know one of them from the nineties. That's what you starting to look like, uh, Suki. Like, real tricks off a of player's club. You know, tricks, she was aged out the game, but she didn't know it. You aging out of that ghetto ass ratchet shit. Grow up, woman up, and keep your business to yourself. I was getting on Sapphire, but shit, I need to be getting on you too. You done told everybody you grew up with roaches. You know what I'm saying? You done told everybody you ain't been on no PJ before. In our mind, when you came on the show, Suki, you're a celebrity. You have this kind of stuff. So if you don't, girl, we don't need to know that. We don't need to know that. And Natalie was embarrassed for you. That's why she put her damn head down. Natalie knew she was on that motherfucking uh, 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 PJ with a bunch of broke Because when y'all was talking, Natalie slumped back in her seat, put her phone to her and put her head down and put her head on her phone, bitch. She was really trying to distance herself from y'all after you said that. And when you took your wig off, looking a fool, why are you taking your wig off on a private jet? Act like you been somewhere, bitch. Now, I don't mean to call you out like that, but girl, you embarrassing. Like, you embarrassing black people at this point. Can you stop? Natalie already half racist, already, already colorist is a mug. We don't need you making it bad for the dark-skinned girls because at the end of the day, it's so much backlash on this show right now for the lack of diversity, for the lack of dark-skinned people, okay, on this show. So we don't need a dark-skinned girl getting on there messing it up for the rest of them who ain't got there yet. Thanks. Moving on. So anyway, after that, the girls get to New York or whatever the case is. And um, I don't know why they kept saying New York City because they stayed, like, Natalie stayed, they rented a house in the Hamptons. And the other girls stayed probably somewhere in Long Island. Like, they was all down there, which is like three, four hours away from New York City. They did not stay in New York City. I don't know. The Johnson's Cabaret did that, too. They stayed in Long Island and then kept uh, having to take the bus <laughs> back and forth 
to the city and then saying they was in New York City. Why are y'all lying like that? Either rent a house. Y'all could have rented a house on Staten Island and took the ferry to the city. Y'all could have rented a house in Queens. Queens has a lot of uh, nice Airbnbs. Y'all could have spent the real money and rented y'all a real Airbnb in Brooklyn, like one of them big Airbnbs and them renovated nice Airbnbs in Brooklyn that go for like five, six racks. Y'all could have really did that. You know what I'm saying? But I guess y'all didn't want to do that. So uh, they stayed outside the city and acted like they was in the city. So uh, long story short, they the girls from the Poe house come over to Natalie's house and they supposed to be having a conversation, which is basically uh, uh, just keep cold for, um, you know, another fight. So they're supposed to be having another fight that Natalie has scheduled preset, you know, on her phone. Uh, uh, her Google her Google alerts that went off and told her that it's time for bitches to get beat up again. So the girls then came over and now they about to fake like they trying to get, you know, all on one accord just so another bitch can get beat up. So apparently Smiley then went on Instagram and said that she got jumped, which she did, you know, but she, she didn't, she didn't talk too much. Smiley, I'm gonna be real with you, sis. You should have shut the fuck up. You should have waited till you got off the show with that. Because the thing about it is, and I, I don't like the fact that Sapphire fought you again, because I feel like Sapphire fought you again, because she just, at that point, she knew she could beat you up and she needed somebody to bully to get on the show. She needed a purpose on the show. She needed a storyline. She made you her storyline. That's what I think happened with you, Smiley. You just like you tried, and that was karma. Cause you tried to make Mariah your storyline because she had more clout than you and not Sapphire and did it to you. And she done made you her storyline. Now she just whopping on your ass every day. You know, um, don't know if she's going to stop. I don't see an end in sight. But anyway, so um, the girls are standing there and Sapphire, Smiley done went and, and ran her mouth online. And like I said, Smiley, what you did was you went online and you told the people that they jumped you. Now, these girls reading that, they on the show. And they know that when people watch the show, people going to be like, oh, they jumped her because they can't fight her one on one. That I feel like contributed to why Sapphire fought you a second time, because now I got to prove that I can fight you one on one because you didn't want to say you got jumped, which you did. But at the same time, it insinuates that I can't fight you one on one. So now I got to show the world that I can. So I feel like that was part of the reason why Sapphire fought you again. But I also feel like she because she said it out of her mouth. She said, come on, bitch, if you don't want to fight, leave then because I need to I need a spot on the show. You know what I'm saying? So she clearly wanted a spot on the main cast and she was trying to get a bitch to go home. And she she found the weakest link at that point, which was Smiley, because everybody was already against Smiley. And she she got air corralled everybody against you, girl. And she really just, you know, put the nail in your coffin. So um, long story short, they sitting there trying to get Smiley to admit to what she did online. Smiley saying, Smiley playing dumb like Smiley do. What, huh? What I do? You know, I don't know. I do this. Huh? What? So, you know, they, they didn't got fed up. And, uh, now Sapphire steps out and says, you know, I want to fight you again one-on-one. -on -one. Smiley says she don't want to fight. And Natalie kind of makes her fight. You know, Natalie told her to fight or go home. So she got to fight. So um, Smiley, I don't know it, where you come from, sis. I think you from the hood. I don't know who hood, what hood. But baby, when somebody say they want to fight you and they start taking off their clothes and their earrings and, you know, taking off their shoes and stuff, that's cold word for get ready. That's cold word for square up, get your guard up and be ready for that bitch to run up or you run up first, one of the two. But baby, when Sapphire was on the right and she was taking off shoes and jackets and all of this stuff, I don't know what else she took off. I don't know what she took off. But baby, she was taking off clothes. Okay, she was getting in fighting gear. And when she was doing that, you were sitting there talking to Natalie and to the rest of the girls trying to explain yourself, girl, why you didn't want to fight. And baby, it looked like, no shade, it looked like you got snuck, but I can't even say honestly you got snuck by Sapphire because you knew what she was, you knew she was about to run up. She said it and she started taking her stuff off like you knew what was coming for you. So, sis, I don't know what will possess you to look away from somebody that's about to run up on you. I don't know why you did that, baby. But that was a bad choice because Sapphire told her that stuff. Um, and yeah, that's where the episode ended. So, I, I, I like I said, it was just, this episode was kind of, it was a lot that happened, but it was just so weird. Like, this episode was so weird because on one hand, I do feel bad that Smiley got jumped. But on the other hand, when Suki and Sapphire explained it at the end of the episode, why they why they, why they, they did what they did to her, it made sense, no shade. Like, you really did take that girl chain. You really did play in her face talking about I want, you weren't going to give it back until y'all sat down and had a dinner. You was trying to mastermind the situation. Then you tried to blame it on Zeus production. You know, you was doing a lot, Smiley. Then you went on uh, Instagram and, and ran your mouth. Like, Smiley, you doing too much. Then you lying about the MC on top of all of this. It's just like, Smiley, you just really... 
stop. Like, I don't know what you want. Like, you just keep digging a hole. That's the thing. I told y'all about liars. When you lie once, you got to lie on top of that to cover up the lie. You know what I'm saying? You got to lie more and lie more and lie more because the lie, and the lies start piling up. And then you start forgetting the lies you done told. And then you sit there when you motherfucking and said some shit on the internet, you going to sit there and tell us, what? What I do? What I said? Yeah, bitch, because you done lied so much that you can't even remember the truth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Smiley girl, get it. Give it up, baby. Just start telling the truth. Start being yourself. Stop this clout chasing shit. You know what I'm saying? This, 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 just stop. You know, I think you will be a really sweet person if you actually was yourself. But you can't, we can't get to that because you're just doing too much. But um, yeah, that's where the episode ended. Um, Sapphire girl, you really just turned into a bully. I think you started out trying to protect Mariah. Well, honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't think you ever wanted cared about Mariah. I think that you and Suki came in with an agenda to make yourselves the focal point of the show. On one hand, as a, a blogger, as a the business side of me says, I love you and Suki. The business side of me says, you bitches is giving me a lot of content to talk about to make money off of. But the human side of me is saying, this is wrong. Like, this is wrong, Sapphire. And I, I see that I saw a lot of y'all trying to say, oh, because Smiley's light skin. It has nothing to do with light skin or dark skin or none of that. Because when Tennessee hit West in her sleep, I read her for filth. It has nothing to do with light skin, dark skin, none of that. It has everything to do with right and wrong. Okay? Now, it did not take all of y'all to put your hands on that one girl. It was between two people. And if Mariah couldn't get her shit back on her own, she sh it should have in the streets. That's how it work. If you can't get it back on your own, then it ain't coming back. You know what I'm saying? All of y'all inserting yourself in that storyline and jumping on that girl was wrong. It was wrong. And Suki knew it was wrong. That's why she sent out that apology. And honestly, to tell you the truth, Suki, I don't know if you was trying to save face or you was genuine about that, but that was a smart choice. Sapphire, you need to follow suit. Okay? But, yeah, smiley girl, I, I, I would like to... to, to, to extend this piece of advice to you as an olive branch. This whole beef you got with Mariah, which you still trying to talk smack to her on the internet after all of this, sis, drop it. You pulling out, doing all, stop. Stop. Because when you get to that reunion, all of them girls, go, it's going to be round two on your ass. It's going to be round two on your ass because you're making yourself look like a bully. Because at the end of the day, you might not like Mariah, but at the sad facts of it are, she is half your size. You are a big back, wide, water buffalo built bitch trying to beat on a toothpick. And that makes people angry. So when you get to that reunion, all of the stuff you're doing online going to get your ass jumped again, smiley. And I think, honestly, I think Smiley want that. I think she want to be the, the center of, of attention at the reunion like, she's, like she is right now because of all this drama. So I think she's trying to make the mud stump her again so she can have something to talk about. Um, and that's just sad. But yeah, that's all I got. I'll talk to y'all later, baby. Bye!